This is long overdue. It's well deserved. Uh, I can't think of anyone who deserves this award more. John is a very humble, uh, grounded visionary that can really pull a lot of people together to accomplish big things. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's quick to adjust, right? There, there has been a significant amount of change in, in the maritime industry over the last two years. And John's vision of what's possible for the Northwest Seaport Alliance adjusts as quickly as the industry is changing. When I stay centered on what's most important, it's really not about me. It's not about any one individual. It's about us collectively and the power of that. This is an exciting time. With change comes uh, uncertainty and risk, yet also excitement, because it's that excitement of the unknown, and it creates opportunities for us to do things differently. And when we stretch ourselves and we extend ourselves beyond what is the norm, that's when magical things happen, like the Northwest Seaport Alliance. It's been easier to deal with a single voice instead of uh, someone who's, who's talking at, you know, only for their port. The Alliance and John in particular can present a unified voice. Here are, the issue, here are the issues and things we need at our port in Seattle. Here's what we need in Tacoma. And uh, he can represent the entire complex, which I think is great from the Seaport Alliance's perspective and also easier for us as a longtime tenant of both places. It was always awkward to have these competing interests in the same Puget Sound region. So having a collective voice uh, really is exciting and there's some pretty big things I think coming down the pike that we'll see huge benefits of having one voice for both of those ocean terminal activities. And already I would say we've seen benefits on discussions on turn times inside the terminals and those have been front and center from the beginning. Customer service is, in my opinion, one of the most critical elements of our success. It starts with our direct customers, yet it extends beyond that to our customers' customers and, as well, the community we serve. Those relationships are critically important. Working with John, I find him very inclusive of all the stakeholders. So when you're speaking to him, he's also representing not just the NWSA, but every stakeholder. He's real and he's grounded and he cares and he listens. I've seen that when I've been in the port offices. I've seen him interact uh, throughout with staff and different functions and uh, he's a very, very strong leader. He has the ability to look at, at a very macro level and then almost immediately get down into the weeds and talk at a very micro level. John will deflect uh, credit to everybody else um, and he'll take all of that and say that there's still a lot more we can do together. And that's the humble, visionary person that John is. And we're very fortunate to have him in the Pacific Northwest playing the role that he's playing. We're proud to be a partner of John's and uh, as, as a 135-year-old organization, it's people like John that have helped to make Matson a success. And I know many other people would say the same thing across the industry. So congratulations to John. We're proud of you. Uh, it's totally well-deserved, and uh, may you continue to succeed far into the future. <laughs>